All right, welcome to Dive Right in Scuba. We just got in the new SciTech Trigon P-Valve and uh, I realize I haven't done any videos in a while to help you guys out uh, with installing some cool stuff. So we're gonna show you how to install a P-Valve. Um, there's obviously quite a few ways as in anything to install uh, for different materials and all that. This is a very basic way without having to, depending on the install, glue it to your suit and have something that's semi-removal for cleaning purposes and all that. So first off with the Trigon, Cut your hole and it comes with a nice little valve pad here. So then we would take the valve pad, shove that inside of our hole, which is not always the easiest thing to do. And that is installed. Now we do have to glue down or aqua seal this valve pad otherwise water will just kind of trickle in through the pad and come right out here so we do have to glue that pad down after we get that glue down though it's actually very simple to either in install or replace this valve take the stock put it in tighten everything up it's installed once you're done with the install you're going to want to do a leak test so plug the wrist plug the neck Fill it up with a scuba tank with air. Take some soapy water and you know just splash or spray this area with soap and look for air bubbles. It'll easily tell you if there's an issue. Um, so that's one way of installing something like the Trigon. Well, if you get into the dive rights or the um, Light Monkey P valve, something a little bit different that doesn't come with a pad like this, you don't actually have to do any gluing. Well, you can too. So we've got the Tinkle valve here and, and obviously the bolt, the one that comes with the bolt. All we really need to do is just have another valve pad, but because this is just on one side, we're not gonna have any leaks. So for this one, what we would do um, is you can cut a valve pad from an old piece of latex wrist seal or a neck seal, or, or you can ask us and, and we'll send you one. Um, so it's not a big deal. But when you cut this, what's very important is you don't wanna have to stretch this, this inner diameter. You don't wanna have to stretch it over the stock. If you do, and it ends up curling like this when you actually are installing it, when you tighten this, those are gonna create little folds and it's gonna leak. So you need to make sure that when you put it all the way down, it actually is loose, it fits flush, there's no anything, it's a good fit. If it's a little bit too big, that's okay, but you don't want it tight to where it's kind of crinkling and, and reforming itself, because you will have leaks. So all we need to do is we can take the stock here um, for our template. You can take some chalk or a pen or depending on the material, whatever you want. You can use a hole punch if that works well for you. With some of the thicker materials that doesn't always work. So sometimes just a scissors and a little starter cut makes that uh, pretty easy. Just make sure whatever you're doing is nice and sharp. And you try to have a smooth cut all the way around because you don't want any straight edges because that's how rips and tears happen. So we kind of want to have a nice smooth cut all the way around. This is where a steady hand can come in, so just take your time, uh, relax, don't be stressed out when you're doing this, and uh, take your time. If you do make a mistake, there is nothing that you really can do to address it that can't be patched, but uh, also try not to accidentally cut both sides of your dry suit. You know, when you're cutting through it, that is a bad thing. We don't want to do that. So make sure we just cut the hole that we need to cut. So again, with the Tinkle Valve, if this were pulled apart, it's gonna kind of look and operate like this in regards to how we would install it. So all we do now, uh, it's pretty simple. We take our valve pad right on our stock here. And again, this does not need to be glued in at all. We take our P-Valve and we shove it right through here. You see, we got a nice, a nice fit. And we tighten everything up. Make sure that the placement of your P-valve is gonna come up your leg. Uh, also, I didn't mention it. Uh, make sure that you get your P-valve in the right location when you're installing it. Put on your suit, mark it with some chalk so you know exactly where you want it. Um, once we have this tightened up, I'd go back with a wrench, give it just a little bit more so it's nice and snug. That's actually installed. That is not gonna leak, period, now with this install. With the rubber on the inside, it's gripping. It's gripping against the suit. Nothing's getting past here, so we don't have to worry about any leaks at all. This would be our bolt. Now we're able to go to the bathroom, open it up, and uh, let everything go. When we're done, we can just tighten it back up and call it a day. Again, the Tinkle valve would install the same way. Um, you can always use some RTV silicone if you want. If you don't want to make your own pad, you can go to the hardware store and for about six bucks, buy some RTV silicone. 
Um, and what we would do then is, is cut our hole. Uh, again, you can put the RTB on the back or the front, but this is more of a permanent install with a silicone. And then uh, I would also mark again here where you want it. Um, so put a nice small bead of RTB silicone around here, tighten everything up, and then you can clean off the edges if it, if it pushes out here. Clean that off with a right rag, tighten everything up. And then again, we're gonna wait, leak test it, and, uh, and be good to go. So honestly, P-valves are pretty easy. You cut a hole, you screw it together, make sure you have some type of valve pad, whether it's a washer, whether it's RTV silicone. Um, if you are using something that has a little bit more robust pad, you will need to install this face down, and that's because this shows into both sides. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're glad to help you, and uh, we got lots of P-valves, so feel free to pee away. Thanks.